short of cash and looking for games that you can still play? Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. I've got you covered. Here's the top 10 free to play games on Steam right now. And don't worry, these aren't 10 shooter games like you see in every other video. These are games in many different genres, from horror to party games and everything in between. Let's begin. Number 10, Tower of Fantasy. This one is for all of you MMO lovers. This sci-fi MMORPG is set on the planet of Ada, a distant planet where players are thrown into an immersive open world with unique characters and epic combat. This game features a beautiful art style of post-apocalyptic themes in a universe that lets you team up with friends to explore its alien world, and course upon many adventures where thrilling battles against tough foes ensue. This game has a fair offering of a variety of weapons which grant different styles of gameplay, some of which can be unlocked by players to have their own personal fighting style. Number 9, Baldi's Basics Classic Remastered. Remember Baldi's Basics? Well, this remastered version isn't exactly what you remember. It is, in fact, a survival horror stealth game that's a parody play upon the original 90s game that's more thrilling and strikes a whole bunch more fear. Your task is to navigate Baldi's schoolhouse and try to collect the seven notebooks in a slender the eight pages style fashion, all whilst trying to avoid and outsmart Baldi and his friends, using certain valuable items to do so as you attempt to be as quiet as possible. There's classic, party and demo style, with classic offering the original gameplay, party shuffling up the items, and demo featuring new elements from Baldi's Basics Plus. All three of these can be played in the so-called Endless Mode, which tasks players with collecting as many notebooks as they can before inevitably being caught. Number 8, Jabroni Brawl Episode 3. This massive collection of game modes, maps and weapons is from a mod built by an enormous team of modders, leveraging the magic of Valve Source engine, combining the ideas and concepts from various Half-Life 1 and 2 mods like Rocket Crowbar, Scientist Hunt and more, paying homage to many of Valve's games, with many maps and player models taken from or inspired by their games to make for a fun and silly online deathmatch experience. The game mode selection is also quite extensive, employing modes from Battle Royale, Sneak vs Tease and Sneak vs Melee, Instagib, Gun Game and many more, letting you take advantage of more than 80 different weapons and use them on 130 maps, playing as one of the 150 or more available player models. There's no shortage of content in this one and it's technically a mod, however rather than a standalone game, but it's the first source mod in a long time that really brings something new and groundbreaking to the Steam free to play lineup. Number 7 Prop and Seek this is the ultimate hide-and-seek experience. It's a game supporting 32 players. Just like in the popular prop hunt mode from Gary's Mod, you can choose to be a prop and blend in with your surroundings, or take on the role of Hunter, who is tasked with finding those hiding as the fake props. This is a great party game to play with friends in Discord, and it has some custom modes that you can play both in a private match and on public mode online. You can choose from various characters and aliases, most of which that are unlocked through achievement completion or purchased from the game shop. The game also has some fun trinkets too like jetpacks, rocket launchers and nades that will give you an upper hand. Number 6 Mad Adventures The ultimate party platformer, this game is absolutely packed with boss fights, team based progression and endless adventure opportunities. As you course through an expedition together with your friends to survive, you'll utilise shared powers and lobby upgrades to help your party or to betray them to work against them. This game is both fast paced and thrilling with a lot of challenge. You'll be collecting coins to spend on upgrades like double jumps and triple jumps or even quadruple jump powers or use them to buy personal skins. The real excitement here though is making the mega giga chad boss fall, a formidable foe that you'll have to heal through his attacks and fight him if you want to win the golden crown. Number 5 Morris in the Predator's Nest This is another first person horror game and it will have your heart racing. You choose between a survivor and a predator. Now if you choose to be a survivor, you and four others will work together in synergy to try to see a way out of the nest of the predator, while you try to evade its hunting efforts. The game takes place during the cover of darkness, which makes things all the more tense. Survivors have the tools to escape, but the blankets of night shrouds their vision, which makes it much harder to navigate in the dead of night. Predators have a series of abilities at their disposal for tracking 
prey, such as those of stealth and their advanced hunting equipment, to take down any survivors bidding to escape. This game of cat and mouse is thrilling and intense, and it's all about outsmarting your opposition. Number 4 Chicken Invaders Universe Calling all chicken fighting enthusiasts. Chicken Invaders is back and it's better than ever before, and you're in for a wild ride. You're the newest recruit in the United Hero Force, mankind's last hope against the reign of the evil, vengeful intergalactic chickens. Soldier, the foul Empire, I see what you did there, is dead set on revenge, and you have to travel across the galaxy's strange world worlds, across its 1,000 star systems, to exterminate them all throughout over 20,000 missions and 15 mission types. You can upgrade your equipment and join squadrons to climb the leaderboard ranks and customise your spacecraft fleet. Number 3 Outpath First Journey If you're looking for a game that combines the best elements of Satisfactory, Minecraft and Forager, then Outpath is probably your kind of game. This game is a 3D platformer with a first person perspective, allowing you to explore, gather resources and craft items and then build a base and automate many of the in-game processes. It has elements of the same addicting gameplay loops from clicker and idle games, but one thing that's good about Outpath is the lack of any kind of limits, particularly in time, letting you relax and play at your own pace. So if you want to just gather and collect resources, or craft some useful items, or buy islands to expand and go fishing on them, you can do that, as you'll level up your skills, unlock new blueprints, and just mess around if you feel like practicing your parkour. This game also features features pretty nice music too, which makes it feel all the more immersive. Number 2 Cart Rider Drift are you ready for some high speed, high octane arcade racing action? Kart Rider Drift is a new free to play game that offers a cross platform racing game with thrilling play. You can challenge your friends to races on here which has a no pay to win gameplay model and it has some pretty huge regular content updates, letting people cross play between PC, Xbox, Playstation and also on mobile too. Now there's a good level of kart and character customization to match it to your personality and design the best kart to cross the finish line. This game has two different modes. Speed mode or item mode, the first being about precise controls and advanced drifting, and the latter being all about chaos and using surprise for your advantage, with crazy items like rocket launchers and water bombs or even UFOs, letting you take first place at any cost. This game definitely reminds me of Mario Kart. Number 1 SCP Lab Rat If you're ready for the ultimate test of survival, then SCP Lab Rat is probably for you, as it's a terrifying and thrilling game that will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. You basically play as a test subject who's trapped underground within an SCP facility, but when a containment breach occurs, you must use all of your skills and wits to survive and find your way out of the facility which has been overrun by the deadly test subjects, and you'll uncover countless facility secrets along the way. This game recreates the original SCP containment breach, staying true to the original gameplay, but adding multiple improvements and features. This game has a single player and a multiplayer mode, letting you either survive alone or team up, depending how intense you want it to play. In addition to the original SCPs, items and events, there are many new ones to discover. Perhaps one of the most exciting new features to Labrat though, is the full VR implementation that lets you have full body and physics augmentation to play the game in a different approach if you actually own a VR kit. Those were the top 10 free to play Steam games that you can play right now. Comment below your favourite games from this list and any other cool free Steam games that you love that deserve dimension that I didn't feature. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe for the best gaming videos on YouTube.